Dr. Ruthie Harper. She is a board certified internist who founded Nutritional Medicine Associates, Associates in 1999, right here in Austin, Texas. And she has expertise in nutrition, supplementation, lifestyle, bioidentical hormones, exercise, and breakthrough beauty treatments. She customizes personalized programs based on an individual's unique genetic profile and uses paleo nutrition to achieve optimal health for every person. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. It's great to be here. Um, I'm sure you all have had the same experience. It's been an amazing weekend. You all are getting so much information, learning so much. Um, what a total pleasure. So what I want to talk to you about today is um, how I believe we can further customize or personalize paleo nutrition to really get it right for you. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunities there, a lot of benefits there, a lot of cost savings there. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I found, the research that um, I've been a part of, and what we actually do in my practice to basically personalize paleo nutrition. So first of all, I want to talk a little bit about what is personalization. Um, you know, and I think as you go through um, this amazing event, most of you have real food consciousness. Um, most of you are eating paleo. You're hearing a lot about how to dial in that paleo based on ketosis. Um, sometimes you're being recommended to eat eggs. Sometimes you're not. Um, we're looking at allergenic foods. We're looking at all these kind of customized recommendations that may be layered onto the paleo concept. And as I talk to people, some of you have been vegan, transferred over. Some of you have done raw fooding. Um, some of you have actually done ketosis with, a, with or without the conjunction of the paleo program. But I think that the bigger question for me is what can we do now that we have the um, human code in terms of our genetics to actually use our genetics to further personalize the decisions that we make with any fueling and certainly, uh, certainly the paleo um, fueling. And I think what you're going to see is that, to me, maybe that is the most important thing. So what you'll find is either the paleo is great, but it may not be enough. And once again, you may actually find that paleo, you can wander off from there in terms of things that normally would be excluded and include those things and do fine with personalized nutrition. So background. In 2003, we cracked the code. As a result of that, we knew exactly what our genetics were. And once we know what that was, quote, supposed to be, we were actually able to identify these individual variations in our genetic called SNPs, which stands for single nucleotide polymorphisms. And essentially, these were the differences in one person's DNA versus another that affect how our body functions, what biochemically happens, um, what foods we're going to react and respond to, so many things. And essentially what I want you to think about is that SNPs are the piece that really personalize and fing fingerprint us. So they're the things that determine literally the strengths and weaknesses are, of our body and essentially what our body will do in a given situation. So what do we know? Well, we know that food, um, customization of food, different you know, ways of eating is basically a billion dollar industry. And what I think many people find, and you know, what I've heard this weekend, is that if you switch to a paleo program and you're doing well on it, that's great. But the reality is that many people don't get all the way there to actually achieve what I call optimal health with a paleo program or really any specific eating program without the layering of that, of that personalization piece. And I think that the reason that that is true is that the uniqueness and individuality of us is essentially in our genetics. And I think it's an important piece for each of us to determine if we're really going to actually get our fueling correct. So, you know, basic principles. There is no one-size-fits-all eating because we're all different. Um, I believe that our food and many things should be customized for us based on our genetics or these SNPs. And essentially, the conceptual is that if you are a diesel engine and you've got a top quality diesel engine, but you're putting the very top quality gasoline, best you can buy, into that machinery, Nothing wrong with the machinery, nothing wrong with the fuel, but you're still going to get a misfiring of it because it's not matched. 
So what would you see if somebody was not eating food that was healthy, quality, organic, but wasn't further customized for them based on their genetics? And these are the things that we all see, maybe personally experience, have friends that experience, um, despite quality eating. And it's so interesting to me because two people can eat the exact same food, the exact same program, and it can be extremely high quality, and yet they're having a different experience. So the things that we see, weight gain, inability to lose weight, um, degenerative diseases, Brain fog, low energy, aches and pains, gastrointestinal symptoms, skin problems, hair loss. And again, you're hearing many of these things about why these things happen. But for me, and based on what I've learned, getting that genetic profile to figure out where you fit in the spectrum becomes very important. So literally, our SNP panel will determine our susceptibility to disease process. It's there in our genetics. Um, it was nice because I released a SNP panel. Um, I worked on it in 2008. It's actually a beauty SNP panel for skin health and beauty called Skin Shift. Right behind that, it was validated by a SNP panel that came out related to macular degeneration risk. There was another one that came out right behind that that actually is being overlaid with pharmacies that allows them to basically determine if you do need to be put on a medication, what would that medication be? Will it work for you? What kind of dosage do you need? How will you metabolize that? What kind of side effects will you actually have? Um, we see weight loss and weight gain issues. And last night I had a conversation with somebody who talked about the fact that they were doing paleo, but once they eliminated the nightshades, which are considered to be healthy foods, boom, all of a sudden their body was able to give up 65 pounds of excessive body fat. Very interesting. Um, and again, just our, our, our general usefulness, um, how we age, how we feel on a daily basis is going to be related to our genetics. So I thought it would be good to basically just kind of cut to the chase in terms of, okay, so this is a great conceptual, but if it's something that you actually wanted to do, how would you do that? And the good news is that there is actually an online resource right now called 23andMe. Many of you have heard of it. Um, many of you know that in the last um, months, they actually got um, their hands slapped by the FDA, not because of the quality of SNPs and genetics, not because of their testing, but because they were actually treating and diagnosing online, which you can't do. But you can go into 23andMe and get a panel of thousands of SNPs. What you'll get right now is a raw data file. And that raw data file can be downloaded and entered into a lot of different companies right now who will look at that data and literally create a profile and recommendation for you based on your SNPs. And so when you look at a $99.23 and me, and we use one that is actually $20 to analyze that data, you're looking at a $119 investment. And when you look at the amount of time, money, effort that you will save over your lifetime, instantly, really, by having that data, to me, the cost benefit is, is pretty easy to, to figure out. So I thought I would show a picture. Um, you know, so this is one of those pieces where, again, I mean, there's pros and cons of paleo based on your SNPs. So if you go in, there's two SNPs that are related to how you're going to process the proteins in, in gluten. And so this actually, you know, for people identifies, will you have gluten sensitivity and intolerances based on your genetic profile? So in some senses, this would be what? A, a pro-paleo way of eating. But there's also things that are there that are cons. And I don't know if this is necessarily a con, but what we'll see is that you can actually look at things like mold and um, environmental sensitivity. You can look at methylation issues. You can look at SNPs related to your detoxification, sulfonification pathways. You can look at all this data and once again really dial in and figure out for you what's right or wrong. There's also a SNP related to something called leptin. And many of you have heard of leptin. Um, essentially, it's a brain neurotransmitter. 
and it manages, controls basically how we feel satiated in response to food. What's fascinating to me is we also um, are just working on releasing um, and, and patenting a SNP profile where we're specifically dialing down SNPs that are related to weight loss and weight gain. And all the research is moving away from this concept that it's about caloric burn and how many calories you eat and how many calories you burn through exercise. And it's really pointing towards things like neurochemistry. So this is a really interesting scientific study for me. Um, it's a little bit Frankenstein. But this first picture is actually a picture of a rat. The large one on the right is called the OB rat. And it actually has um, its homozygous for the SNPs that mean that the, the hormone leptin does not work in their body. And so all these, these rats, you know, that, um, that have this OB gene, okay, are basically leptin resistant and they will eat and eat and eat and never experience satiety. In this study, the rat on the left does not have that SNP. And so it's a normal sized, you know, rat. They actually, and I don't know if you can see this, but they've actually connect, connected their blood supply so that essentially, because of that connection, both of these rats are seeing essentially the same neurochemistry in their body, okay? So one of them has a genetic issue, one of them doesn't, but because they're connected, they see the same biochemical or chemical profile. And the interesting thing is, so what would we anticipate, anticipate happens? Does, you know, does anything happen? Does the fat, fat rat get skinny? Does the skinny rat get fat? And the interesting thing is that the fat rat actually gets skinny. So having that connection and the exposure of that neurochemical because of that correction overcomes, deals with the deficiency, the issues related to the leptin SNP and actually creates the correction. So what would you experience if you were fueling adequately? Well, and this is really the goal of our practice. I mean, essentially, you would experience optimal health and that's our goal for every individual. So health issues become resolved, degenerative diseases either go away or you don't move in that direction because you've actually dealt with the specific and personalized way that you should fuel. You achieve your ideal weight, you feel satiated, um, you feel good, you have high energy and you have really what we experience is that optimal health picture and you save money. As I mentioned, you know, the, the cost benefit savings are profound. Um, I mean, I think that's a common thing for all of us is that we all want to make decisions, spend money in ways that actually bring us the greatest benefits. Um, so, you know, I thought if you want to email me and um, we'll have to move this up for just a second. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. But at the bottom, um, if you want to email my um, clinical assistant, Stacy at RuthieHarper.com, we, we will be happy to send you that profile that will essentially show you if you do a 23andMe for $99 and you want to submit that data to this company, what kind of information you would actually get um, for that investment, and I think that becomes, you know, a valuable piece of really looking at this. Um, our, our practice has become very focused on this personalized, the genetic piece, because um, there's been so many stepping stones towards health that I've been able to see and accomplish as I've moved into integrative and nutritional medicine, but the genetic overlay, in my opinion, is profound. Um, again, better results less trial and error, less money spent, more patient satisfaction. So um, that's the end of what I have. And if you all have any questions, we'd love to answer them.